Hello, beautiful soul. Let's get happier and improve our life, not later, but right now. I'm going to offer you up a self-hypnosis tool to boost your confidence, to learn more rapidly, and to be able to accomplish more of what you desire and want. Sound good? I think of a client years ago who came to me with fears, anxieties, low self-esteem, just struggling in life in all areas. Well, if you would have looked at what her life was like, if you would have listened to her talk, you would have thought, wow, she's not very smart. There's no hope for her. But I know what somebody is manifesting is not an indicator of their potential. It is not an indicator of what is possible. And I have seen that in my own life. I think of years ago, I was training for this herb vitamin company and I was making tons of stupid mistakes. The person on top of me, my uh, manager, she was very critical and judgmental and I felt like she treated me like I was in kindergarten and I was not capable of even learning the basics. Well, I rose to that expectation and I screwed up royally, but it was not an indicator of my potential. It was not an indicator of my intelligence. Luckily, there was a supervisor above her and she came in and she said, we've got to change the environment that you're offering up because you're setting up your employees for failure. And she took me under her wing. She, she completely changed my thinking, allowed me to make mistakes, to mess up, but had those expectations of you can do this. And I ended up relatively quickly becoming manager and the other woman ended up being let go. So oftentimes we have this belief that because I'm not successful right away or that I'm messing up and making mistakes, it must be indicating the, that I'm stupid or that it's, it's not going to work that we're not successful right away and we think, oh my gosh, I'm just not good at this. No, no, no. So one of the tools that I give to my clients that I'm gonna to teach to you right now is to let go of having to have those instant manifestations, that instant result and leaning more heavily on remembering your successes and what's possible. So join in with me. We are going to do the calm breath. That is two sharp inhales in through the nose. You want to take up the oxygen from your belly up to your heart and then up to your head. And then an exhale, an extended exhale out through the mouth. So bringing the oxygen into your belly, pelvic area first, let it come up into the heart and just feel it bring some softness, love up into the head, a feeling of it cleansing, clearing your brain, bringing in stillness. And then on the exhale, a beautiful letting go and release. So I'll do that with you. And then just let everything relax, release, let go. Let's take a moment to think of a time in your life when you felt competent and successful. So that's what I did with this one client that she was scattered, inarticulate, she thought she was stupid. A lot of people around her judged her as incompetent, 
and not intelligent. And how she turned things around is by doing these tools, these different techniques, by going to a place in the hypnotic state of remembering that she was capable, that she could learn, and to back that up with evidence from her life. And she did have evidence. Like for instance, she graduated from college. It's like, you have evidence that you can learn. Then we started to find different things that she had been good at, that she had kind of forgotten. And from that beautiful space, she started to build up her beliefs and her ability to learn. I ran into her at a social event years later, and I was astounded. Wow, she was articulate, she was clear-minded, she had thoughtful opinions. It was such a pleasure to see her come into herself. So let's do just a little sigh breath. Close your eyes. Just keep your eyes closed and see if you can't think of a moment, uh, a time in your life when you felt good. Maybe it was a test that came back. Maybe it was just a moment of offering up wisdom to someone else where, oh, that feels good to know something, to be able to support somebody else and help them out. Maybe you take things for granted that you know how to do, like you just know how to grow vegetables or you're really good at making this one dish. It doesn't matter what the example is from your life. It's the feeling that we're going for so that we can start to infuse your whole being with that feeling of learning, feeling confident that at one time you didn't know how to walk. You had to learn how to crawl, how to use a spoon. So be willing, willing to go to these beautiful thoughts. So once you can find a thought that's the time to do our calm breath where we take two in sharp inhales and then an extended exhale and imagine you can feel that energy of confidence, that feeling of feeling good about yourself flood your being so that when we do the breath, we just want to take in that energy beyond words or labels. So again, the technique is we do our side breath and then go ahead and close your eyes. This is your time to just settle, to relax, to go to the still place where you are open, open and willing to remember moments when you felt confident, capable. That could be a moment of making somebody laugh, saying something witty. And it doesn't matter, again, what the example is. We're going for the feeling so that when we do our calm breath, we go to that feeling like we go to a very real location within the place that we live. So that you go to the energy of confidence. So let's... Again, do that side breath. On the exhale, go ahead and close your eyes. Feel a beautiful wave of physical relaxation and mental peace. Just let the sound of my voice guide you to a memory, a memory that just felt good. Maybe you just go to a feeling of when you taught your dog a new trick. Maybe you go to a feeling when you came up with a clever solution that made your life better. Like you fix something in your home without having to hire someone or pay for a part that was expensive. It doesn't matter the example. To give yourself permission to tap into the energy 
of feeling good, feeling confident, feeling capable, being able to learn something. I think of just a moment when I offered up something that supported and helped out a friend. I was able to show her a technique and how to make YouTube shorts. And it just felt really, really good. So it doesn't matter what the example is. We're just going for the feelings. So hopefully you were able to go to some places. If you weren't, no worries. Welcome to the human race. It's not a big deal. That just means that you're used to finding probably opposite examples of feeling incompetent or not good enough or like a failure. So what? You can change that around. Beliefs are meant to be changed. Her mind was meant to continue to learn, evolve, and grow. So let's finish this off with the calm breath where you just feel the energy of those good memories. Do the calm breath. Two sharp inhales in. Just let that beautiful energy flow. Flooding the body, stilling the mind. Keep doing those calm breaths. Bringing in the energy. Letting it just shower you like a torrential downpour. Soaking into your mind, into your body, into your life energies, memories of feeling confident, feeling capable with the ability to learn. So much is possible for you, my beautiful friend. So show me the love, show me the appreciation. If this was supportive and helpful, subscribe or like this video. Until next time, blessings and love.